I would like to introduce you an application for Symbian S63 and S65 edition called Changer. Changer is a currency converter with auto update feature and really simple user interface. It offers you colon convert between 161 currencies including precious metal, gold, silver, palladium, and platinum prices. Auto update, set it to your desired intervals. Update rate on start, you get the latest rate when you start Changer. Save history, you can see not only the current price, but also previously updated rates. Predefined default amount and default currency makes it easy to add a new conversion. Invert, swap the conversion easily. Font size, set it to large, medium, or small to fit your needs. Application upgrade notification, you get a newest version fresh from the oven. And best of all, it is free for life. This is change your main screen. On the center of the screen, you will see a list of conversions you have added before. You can have as much conversions as you want. On the top of the screen, you will see the details of the selected conversion. And on the bottom of the screen, there is an options menu and exit menu. To add a new conversion, press options. Then choose conversion. Choose add to proceed. You will prompt to enter the desired amount to convert. Enter an amount between 0.0001-10,000, then choose next. Then, you will prompt to choose from which currency you want to convert. You can browse through the list itself, or you can use the search box below the list. When you finish, choose next. The last step, choose your target currency. Choose finish when you finish. And here is the result. You will see that the result is zero. It is because you have not updated the rate yet. Now, we want to get the newest rate for the currency we just added. To do that, choose options again. Then choose update rates. You will prompt by the phone to choose which connection to use. Select the one you desired. Now, updating process is in progress. When it's finished, you will notify with the vibration and tone. Here is the result. Now you have the current rate for the conversion you want. Let's say we want to change the amount to convert. To do that, select the conversion you want to edit the amount, then choose options, then conversion, and then edit. Now, enter the amount you want to convert. Then choose OK. And here is the result. Now, how about to swap the conversion? Do I need to add another conversion again? Of course not, just choose options, then conversion, and invert. And you get the inverted conversion. Now, we want to see the previously updated rates, or the history. To do that, select the conversion you want to see the history, then choose options, and then view history. And here is the history. You can sort the history by date or by rate, both ascending and descending. To sort the history, choose options, then sort by, and choose the sort type you want. Choose back to back to the main screen. Now, I would like to show you how this change your settings work. To go to the setting view on the main screen, choose options, then choose settings. Changer have three setting categories, appearance, connection, and conversion. Let's see what is in the appearance setting. Select appearance, then choose options, and open. In the appearance setting, we have style and font size. Let's see what is the style setting means. Select style and then choose options, then change. Style setting contains two items, more details and more items. When you change this setting, it will take an effect on the main screen. This is main screen using the more details style. Take a look at the top of the screen, there is a details about the selected conversion. The number of conversion visible at one time in this screen is 11 items. And this is main screen using the more items style. In this screen, there is no details on the top of the screen, and the title area is smaller than before. Give the list area more space to display the conversions. The number of conversion visible at one time in this screen is 12 items. Okay, now, let's take a look at font size setting. There is three items on the font size setting, large, normal, and small. This setting will also take an effect on the main screen. This is main screen with large font size. The number of conversion visible at one time in this screen is 10 items. And this is main screen with normal font size. The number of conversion visible at one time in this screen is 11 items. And with small font size. 
The number of conversion visible at one time on this screen is 21 items. The connection settings have three items, access point, update rates on start, and update every. For access point setting, you have always ask, and user defined. Always ask means, that every time changer try to connect to the internet, it will ask you to specify the access point to use. User defined means, that you already specify the access point to use, so changer will not ask you to specify it again, when it tries to connect to the internet. Let's move to update rates on start setting. You can set this setting to yes or no. Yes means that changer will automatically update the rates every time you start changer. And no means it will not automatically update the rates when you start changer. You can set the auto update behavior of changer using the update every setting. If you set this setting to never, then changer will disable the auto update feature. Otherwise, if you set the interval, changer will start the update rates process automatically follow the interval setting. The last setting is conversion setting. In this setting, we have default amount, default currency, and save history setting. Default amount setting make it easier for you to add a new conversion. For example, if you set this setting to 100, then every time you add a new conversion, the default value for the amount is 100. Default currency setting have the same purpose as default amount setting, to make it easier for you to add a new conversion. When you set a specific currency, then every time you add a new conversion, you will have the from currency and to currency set the default currency you specify in this setting. And the last setting is save history setting. You can set this setting to yes or no. Yes means that every time changer have a new rates for the conversions, then it will save the previous rates to the history list. Otherwise, if you set it to no, changer will not save the previous rates to the history list. And of course, changer not only supported portrait mode, but also support landscape mode.